friends, on this lesson, we're going to learn how to represent decimals using money. Welcome to Yours in Education, where it's never too late to learn. Let's start with the names of the coins. We have the penny, nickel, dime, and quarter. We're going to start with the penny. On the face, we have the President Abraham Lincoln, and on tails, we have the Lincoln Memorial. If you want to write one penny in decimal form, is 0.01. In fraction, is 100. And in decimal model, as you can see, this is divided in 100 parts, and you're shading one, and this is 100. Here we have the nickel, and on the heads, or the obverse, we have Thomas Jefferson. And on tails, which is the reverse, we have the Monticello. The nickel is worth five cents, and this is how you write five cents in decimal model. In fraction, you will write five hundredths because one dollar has one hundred cents, and a nickel is only five cents. Here we have the decimal model. Instead of one, we have five squares shaded, and this is how you write it, 0 0.05. The next coin is the dime. On the obverse of the dime, we have the President Franklin Roosevelt, and on the reverse, we have an olive branch, a torch, and an oak branch. The value of a dime is 10 cents. This is how you write 10 cents in decimal form, and in fraction is 10 out of 100, again, because a dollar has 100 cents. This is how you represent it on a model. We have 10 out of 100, and again in decimal is 0 0.5. 10. The last coin is the quarter, and here in the front, or the obverse, we have George Washington. In the back, this is the most common design, it's an eagle, and it says, of course, United States of America, and then, I don't know how to pronounce this, but this means out of many, one, and it's an eagle. Now, different states have their own design, for example, here we have West Virginia, and it has a John Brown's fort. And another example is Indiana, and then they have this George Rogers Clark. So each state has their own design. How do we write quarter in decimal form is 0 0.25. You need four quarters to make $1, 25, 50, 75, $1. In fraction is 25 out of 100. And then in decimal model, we have 10, 20, 25 shaded out of 100. Remember, I'm going to say this one last more time, if you have the whole thing shaded, that will be $1. Now we're going to build numbers with the digit 2 in different places. We're going to start with the digit 2 in the hundreds place. The hundreds place is this one. We have the ones, tens, and hundreds. And we're going to count 25, 50, 51, 52 cents. You write 0 0.52 and the 2 is in the hundreds place. Then we have $1.25, this is a quarter, so ones, tens, and hundreds. The number 2, the digit 2, is in the tens place. Then we have $2 with 10, 11 cents. $2 and 11 cents, the number 2 is in the ones place. $2. Last but not least, we have $20 with 16 cents. Let's count it, 20, 10, 15, 16 cents. The digit two is in the tens place. Let's recap, hundreds place, tens place, ones place, and tens place. Tens, this is how you write tens in whole number, and this is how you write tens in decimal, it has TH. On this slide, we're gonna make different numbers with the digit three in different places. We're gonna start with 13 cents, so 10, 11, 12, 13, and we have 13, the three in the hundreds place. Then we have $20, and 25 plus five is 30, $20 and 30 cents, the three is in the tens place. This is the tens place. We have one, two, three dollars and one cent, three and one cent, and the three is in the ones place. Last but not least, we have 20, 25, 30. This is how you write 
$30, which is $30 with zero cents. And the three is in the tens place. Tens whole number, tens decimal number. Now it's your turn. It's a math challenge and you need to build four different numbers. One number with a digit four in the hundreds place. One with a digit four in the tens place. One number with a digit four in the ones place and one number with a digit four in the tens place. Four different numbers in total. Have fun!